Hi, welcome to Intellectual Property Law for 2015. My name's Nick Suzo, I'm one of the unit coordinators for this class. You'll also meet Kylie Papalato, co-unit coordinator with me, Dr. Ben McInery, who will be teaching the pattern material, and um, Professor Dan Hunter, who will be doing the lectures on trademarks. We're really excited to um, present this class to you in a new way this semester. We've decided to move everything online and teach the class in a connected manner. What that means is that you'll be able to access all the lecture video, uh, materials as videos and uh, we'll give you, instead of a two hour lecture every week, the opportunity to participate in a two hour practical workshop where you can actually work through a lot of the questions to enhance your understanding. It also means that for people who can't make the workshop, we'll provide a discussion board and a way to discuss the questions for each week. The other things that we'll be doing that makes this so exciting, I think, is to um, really emphasize interest-led learning and social learning in this class. So we're going to have a Facebook group and a, a Twitter hashtag that we can use in order to communicate interesting stories, share questions and discussions about things relevant to the contents of the material. Or you'll also have the opportunity to participate in a range of extracurricular activities. So if you're interested in specializing in IP or following your interest in some of the material that we're covering, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to work with us in a range of world, real world exercises that are useful to you in terms of developing your knowledge and building your profile in IP to help you get a job, whether that's in practice, in policy, in advocacy work, or wherever you end up. So these sorts of things are completely voluntary, but uh, if you're interested, please let me know, get in, get in touch, but I'll be trying to provide a series of opportunities for you to get involved in the activities of the IP research program here at QUT. So we'll be running current awareness seminars and opportunities to get you to meet members of the profession and other people working in IP to talk about how your career might develop. We'll also be running regular movie nights just as a way to get an idea of the you know, issues that are currently developing around the world in IP, the current uh, debates. Then we'll offer opportunities for you to get involved with the work that we're doing. So this is uh, um, anything from starting from blogging about issues that are important to you, uh, writing op-eds with us, writing policy submissions on important topics of the day, participating in our research programs, all of these things that you can get involved with in order to start developing your profile as an IP practitioner, if that's what you want to specialize in. We're also offering what I'm, one thing I'm really excited about is an open textbook. Um, I personally am starting to get very concerned about prescribing textbooks to students that cost over $200. I think that at this point, we have a moral responsibility to make materials available more openly and more freely. So to that end, I have released all of my materials that I use for teaching in this class and all of the other, uh, and, sorry, several other components that we've been able to put together. And we're slowly putting together a, uh, an open textbook. And I invite all of you to help in this process by taking the notes that you normally develop in this class and sharing them in the collaborative interface that we've developed so that hopefully by the end of the year, we'll be able to have a good comprehensive textbook that is available to help people learn about Australian IP law for free and we'll be able to do away with the existing textbooks. So finally, on textbooks, we have prescribed a new textbook this year, uh, Intellectual Property in Australia, fifth edition. Now, this, we did update the books because uh, there have been several changes in the law, most notably the raising the bar reforms uh, that are not in the old textbook. There are also some new cases, uh, particularly copyright cases that might not be in the old textbook. That doesn't mean necessarily that you can't use an older textbook, just be aware of those changes um, that you will have to update as you go through. So how are the changes to this subject going to impact the way that you study and learn? First, each week we're going to provide a series of short videos that I want you to work through and uh, these replace the lecture content for the week. 
you'll be able to access these through YouTube and a couple of other links. And uh, I want you to work through these and the associated quiz questions before you come to class. In class, we'll go through a series of workshop practical exercises to help you apply the knowledge from the videos to new situations. This will give you practice to be able to apply the law in a practical environment. Second, We'll provide a series of online quizzes to help you test your um, to help you test your knowledge. These will be formative quizzes, completely optional, but we'll give them to you not only each week, but at the end of a module of content, like copyright, for example, we will provide you with a series of review questions so that you can be sure that you understand the content well enough to be able to apply it. As for assessment, there are three pieces of assessment in the subject. The first is a weekly exercise, a teach the class video exercise. So you will be asked to create a short three to four minute video that explains a particular concept to everyone else in the class. This is designed to get you to really understand in detail a piece of knowledge and be able to explain it to a lay audience. It's a really interesting way to do it. Um, I'm actually really excited to seeing what you come up with. I've uploaded extra information that will help you create those videos and I'll put that in the, uh, in the links below. This exercise is worth 20% in the marks for this unit. Uh, you'll do it only once throughout the semester. So I want you to, in the first week, nominate a week that you are interested in actually presenting a video to the rest of the class. The second piece of assessment is a policy assignment. Also, this one's worth 40% and uh, we will get you to develop a response, an analysis, and a set of recommendations for a particular pressing legal issue. Um, I don't mind what sort of conclusion you come to, but you need to have clear recommendations for how the law should develop in, in relation to a, an issue that is currently under consideration by the courts or the legislatures. And the final piece of assessment, also worth 40%, is a take-home exam in the final exam period. This will be a practical exercise that covers all of the material that we've covered during the class. We're all really looking forward to the unit this semester. I think that it's a really interesting redesign. I hope you find it interesting, but also fun to do. I'm really looking forward to meeting each of you, whether in person or online. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me, uh, Nick Suzor or Kylie Papalato. And I hope you enjoy the unit.